Graduates and guests, today's graduation ceremony is about to begin. Swinburne University of Technology Councillor, Mr. N Andrew Dix, will preside over the ceremony. Mr. Dix will be preceded into the hall by Mr. Anthony Gartner, the mace bearer. The mace is the symbol of institutional authority and is carried as a symbolic weapon of protection. The councillor and mace bearer are members of the official party who will be escorted into the hall by the academic procession. The academic procession is about to enter the hall. Would you please stand? Please remain standing for the national anthem. The words are printed inside the back cover of the ceremony program and will be displayed on the screen. Please be seated. My name is Professor Chris Pilgrim, Pro Vice Chancellor, Education and Quality and Academic Registrar. I'd like to welcome you all to this graduation ceremony. This is one of three ceremonies the university is holding this week for more than 700 Swinburne graduates. It is now my pleasure to introduce the people who are seated on stage. Seated at the centre of the stage is Councillor Andrew Dix, who will preside over this ceremony. Councillor Dix is joined today by Professor Linda Christensen, AO, Vice-Chancellor and President of Swinburne University of Technology. Mr Julian Burnside, AO, QC, being awarded an honorary doctorate at today's ceremony. Professor Karen Chalmers, Dean, Swinburne Business School. Professor Bernadine Van Granberg, Pro-Vice-Chancellor, Graduate Research and Research Training. Ms. Ms. Eastman, Executive Director, Pathways and Vocational Education Operations. Dr. Andrew J. Smith, Vice President, Students. Mr. Richard Bolt, PSM, Vice President, Strategy and Innovation. The other staff seated on stage are academics and professional staff who have played such a large part in the success of today's graduates. It now gives me great pleasure to invite Councillor Dix to formally open proceedings. Vice-Chancellor. Members of staff, distinguished guests, graduates, families and friends. On behalf of Swinburne University of Technology, it's my pleasure to welcome you to today's graduation ceremony. I would like to begin by respectfully acknowledging the Wurundjeri and Boonwurrung people of the Kulin Nation as the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather. I would also like to pay my respects to Elders past and present of the Kulin Nation and extend that respect to all Indigenous people present today. Today's ceremony acknowledges the academic and research achievements of our students and represents a significant step in their lifelong learning journeys. We are very pleased that so many parents, families and friends have been able to attend with and I'm aware many of you travelling to Melbourne from countries across the world for this special occasion. On the occasion of this ceremony, the council and staff of the university wish to offer their congratulations to graduates on the achievement of their qualifications. And for all of us, this ceremony is a significant milestone. For you, our graduates, 
It acknowledges the culmination of years of study, hard work and achievement. And for the parents, families and friends of the graduates, this ceremony is an important recognition of all the support that you've provided to the graduates. And today, it's an opportunity to celebrate this shared achievement. You, like we, will feel a great sense of pride and happiness in seeing your friend or family member succeed in this most significant way. And for the academic and professional staff of the university, there's enormous satisfaction in seeing our students successfully complete their studies. And while this ceremony rightly celebrates the achievements of our students, it's also an important occasion for the university. Swinburne prides itself on the quality of its teaching and learning and the excellence of its research. This graduation ceremony allows Swinburne to publicly recognise our students who graduate with a range of high quality, relevant educational qualifications. And these qualifications are specifically designed to produce career-ready graduates, and more and more, we see our alumni confidently building businesses for themselves that are creating social and economic impact. As Swinburne graduates, you have learned to collaborate, listen carefully, think critically, and resolve conflict through reason. Whatever your chosen profession, these essential skills are critical to your future success and ongoing professional development. Swinburne is an internationally recognised university in the fields of science, technology, design, business and innovation. And we are ranked highly for our research excellence and well known for our strong engagement with industry. We are also fortunate to be surrounded by motivated, passionate and innovative researchers who collaborate actively with scholars at leading universities in many countries in different parts of the world. And through such collaborations, we see tremendous impact across all facets of society. Swinburne is an inclusive, global university. We take pride in seeing our graduates from around the world pursue meaningful careers. And so graduates, today, you join an international community of professionals who will make a difference. Thank you for the privilege of allowing us to contribute to your education and for enriching our community with your quest for knowledge. I now call upon Professor Linda Christensen AO, Vice-Chancellor and President of Swinburne University of Technology to introduce the next part of the proceedings. Councillor, I call upon Mr. Julian Burnside, AO, QC, to present himself for admission to the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, in recognition of his significant contributions to human rights in Australia. Julian Burnside, AO, QC, is one of Australia's most notable commercial law barristers, a respected author, and a leading human rights and refugee advocate. Mr. Burnside practices principally in commercial litigation, trade practices, and administrative law, and has worked on many significant cases. He acted for the Maritime Union of Australia in 1998 waterfront dispute against Patrick Stevedores. He was counsel of the Octeti natives of Papua New Guinea and against the BHP Mining Company, and was senior counsel assisting the Australian Broadcasting Corporation in the cash for comment inquiry. Mr. Burnside has been widely commended for his work on human rights and has acted pro bono in many, many cases. He successfully represented Liberty Victoria in an action against the Australian government over the Tampa affair and the mandatory detention of asylum seekers. He has also worked on several major cases on behalf of Indigenous Australians. He acted for Bruce Trevorrow, who sued the South Australian government for removing him from his parents. The state government was found guilty and membership of the Stolen Generation was recognised as a basis for legal compensation. Mr Burnside was instrumental in setting up the spare rooms for refugees 
and spare lawyers for refugees programs, which provide free accommodation and legal representation to refugees in Australia. Following this, he was awarded the Human Rights Law Award. Mr. Burnside was elected an Australian living treasure, received the Australian and Sydney Peace Prizes, and was made an officer of the Order of Australia for his service as a human rights advocate to the arts and to the law. Mr. Burnside has written several publications on law, human rights, and philosophy. He is a patron of many arts organizations and is chair of 45 Downstairs and the Meta Foundation. Mr. Burnside is a member of Swinburne's Law School's advisory board. He has profoundly influenced the school's commitment to justice and social good. Mr. Burnside's outstanding contributions to the legal profession, his tireless work in human rights, and his commitment to the arts are most aptly recognized through this honorary doctorate. Councillor. It is with great pleasure that in accordance with Swinburne University of Technology legislation, I present to you Mr. Julian Burnside AO QC for admission to the degree of Doctor of Laws. Councillor, it is with pleasure that I invite Dr. Julian Burnside, AOQC, to say a few words on this special occasion. I'm very grateful. I thought I was going to last. I thought I'd have a bit of time to think about what I was going to say, but no. Um, I think the first comment I want to make, this is the very first time I've heard bagpipes accompanied by didgeridoo and it actually works pretty well. Um, maybe we should think about that because in Australia today, Aboriginal people are sidelined, treated badly, disrespected, excluded from many places, and we all should look at ourselves and wonder if we are part of the cause of their circumstances. And doing Bruce Trevorrow's case persuaded me that we are, that it's partly our fault but they're like that. The reason I say that is Bruce was taken from his parents when he was 13, or what, 13 months old, yeah. And he was a very damaged person. He passed on part of that damage to his wife and to his children. Um, if we think that a one electoral cycle fix will work for repairing the damage we've done, taking their land, then taking their kids, uh, we're mistaken. It will take a generation to fix it, and we need to be, we need to brace ourselves as a community to the need to repair the harm that we have inflicted on Aboriginal people in this country. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I want to talk about specifically talk to the graduates and their parents. You've all done a huge job, especially the parents. I mean, the parents of students work incredibly hard to make sure they're their kids get a fair education. It's not easy. Um, the students, for their part, also work very hard. And you're lucky and privileged to have studied at a campus like Swinburne. I've lived close to Swinburne all of my life. It used to be a dump. It used to be the Swinburne uh, Tech College, and it was pretty awful. But it's now been made into one of the finest university campuses in this country and you should all be really grateful that your parents made sure you could go there and study. Um, the, the, the great thing about Swinburne University is not only the quality of the education you get and the quality of the surroundings, but the fact that it puts you into the world ready to take the mantle from the rest of us. I hope you do it well. Um, congratulations on graduating today. I should say, I wasn't even going to mention this, but I'm very pleased to have been given this doctorate because I have not graduated in law. I did not get to my graduation ceremony. I think I have graduated, I think I'm qualified as a lawyer, but I didn't actually get to my graduation ceremony. So this is the very, very first legal graduation ceremony I've been to, and I'm very grateful to Swinburne University for the compliment they've paid me. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Julian Burnside, AO, QC, for your insightful comments and our hearty congratulations on today's recognition of your inspiring achievements. Would all graduates now please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Council of Swinburne University of Technology, I admit you as graduates to the awards for which you have qualified and to all the rights and privileges of those awards. Congratulations. Please be seated. And I now call upon Ms. Eastman, Executive Director, Pathways and Vocational Education Operations, to present the Pathways and Vocational Education graduates. I have great pleasure in presenting to you our Pathways and Vocational Education graduates. Graduates, congratulations on your achievements. Take pride in your graduation. And we wish you great success in your chosen field and look forward to seeing you again at Swinburne throughout your lifelong learning journey. Councillor, I have the honour to present to you the graduates on whom an award has been conferred. For the Diploma of Accounting, Nant Mei Tu Jo. Van Sui Pa Lung Fa. For the Diploma of Business, Unilink, Muhammad Abu Bakar. <laughs> Harindu Dilnuan Brahmana. <laughs> Suba Virage Sajita Ransika Diaz. Sachitra Sewandi Paranavitana. For the Diploma of Business Administration, Tiffany Villedo. For the Diploma of Business Studies, Lauren Rebecca Baud. For the Diploma of Design, Unilink, Chung Kwan Cheng. For the Diploma of Early Childhood Education and Care, Graciela Estrada. Hibiki Oshima. Maria Francisca Tobar. Aloka Shantini Boteju Wela Tantrike. Eliza Tsi Wan Wong. For the Diploma of Education Studies, Andrea Kathleen Barker. <laughs> Heather Jane Cotterell. <laughs> For, 
for the Diploma of Human Resources Management, Adit Al Dabbah. Pietro uh, Ilario Ayustacchio Di Chiera. Milad Johanna. For the Diploma of Justice, Jennifer Rose Tucker. For the Diploma of Landscape Design, Gail Elizabeth Brenchley. For the Diploma of Leadership and Management, Jane Pham. For the Diploma of Legal Services, Kantatkan Chaitanu. Mary Vic Shannon Garibay. Rupali Kapsa. For the Diploma of Nursing, Tiuma Talawa Jan Fetinae. For the Diploma of Science, Unilink, Darnil Modi. For the Diploma of Work, Health and Safety, Fahad Ali Bhatti. For the Advanced Diploma of Building Design, Architectural, Richard Mark Abiratna. Birisak Keng. Rocco Domenico Ricevuto. Shanali Zara Esta Tantrimudali. Pita Silulis. Dilon Taner Unal. Madeline Louise Emily Wood. For the Advanced Diploma of Engineering Technology, Mechanical, Christopher John Bone. Carl Ekanayake. Indica Anurada Wasala Mudianselage Kandegama. For the Advanced Diploma of Engineering Technology, Robotics and Mechatronics, Lucas Thomas Farugia. For the Advanced Diploma of Graphic Design, Siobhan Melania Van Hoff. For the Graduate Certificate in Organizational Coaching, Wade Joseph Mullings. That concludes the awards for the Pathways and Vocational Education graduates. I now call upon Professor Karen Chalmers, Dean, Swinburne Business School, to present the faculty's graduates.
It gives me great pleasure to present our class of 2019 graduates. In the Faculty of Business and Law, we are proud of our long history in innovative education and industry engagement. And this is exemplified in our postgraduate offerings through the Australian Graduate School of Entrepreneurship. Above all, we are proud of our thousands of graduates worldwide whom you join today. I encourage you to remain engaged with your fellow graduates and Swinburne through our Alumni Association. We salute your achievement and congratulate you. All the best for your future endeavours. Councillor, I have the honour to present to you the graduates on whom an award has been conferred. For the Bachelor of Accounting, Sadipa Sandaruan Belbagi. Gene Shazmina Umesha Lantra. Fatima Ruzna Mohammad Naushat. Sayed Faik Ul Hassan Sherazi. For the Bachelor of Accounting and Information Systems, Daniel John Bedison. Sage Alexander Bias. For the Bachelor of Business, Ravil Awadhut Ambre. Serai Armstrong. Adrian Michael Ariagada. Justin Taylor Barrett. Sharon Bethlehem. Marlo Page Calleja. Ruby Casey. Sophie Chung Fuk Lun. Gareth Clark. Brad Connors. Georgia Constantino. James Brian Coyle. Dalal Dabab. Paulo De Leon. Amandeep Singh Dunna. Jamie Dukelis. Carlin Ferrero. Tammy Fleming. Nicholas Peter Fowler.
Jason Paul Gibson. Scott Christopher Gingell. Samantha Laura Harstedt. Wan Xi Ho. Clifford Frank James Hookham. Bridget Hume. Eleanor Cristiano Jack. Ella Jensen. Taylor Stewart Johnston. Jasmine Cartel. Adem Karupovic. Joeman Betty Kusakulta. Cristina Maria Labrador Serrano. Leonard Lowe. <laughs> Chia Chi Lowe. <laughs> Rosa Mara. <laughs> Lynn Angelica Martinson. Christopher William Mason. <laughs> Hugh Andrew McGlone. <laughs> Drumi Hanskumar Meta. Suvin Binura Chirangiwa Milit Dua Gamage. <laughs> Sue Joy Nichols. <laughs> Jeromy Noyar. <laughs> Victoria Aurelia. Obiego. <laughs> Patrick Sal Osta. <laughs> Sarah Evangeline Patmanaden. <laughs> Jessica Quirk. Aisha Rad. <laughs> Phoebe Reardon. <laughs> Roshona Jade Richard. Amber Richmond. Luke Silverback.
Joseph Suki. Jocelyn Kersin Tan. Hui Chi Tian. Colin Thomas. Mai Kan Ha Zhan. Kyle William Van Hoofen. Er hat Henri Van Niekerk. Rose Mary Warner. <laughs> Timothy Blackmore Withers. <laughs> Susan Betty Wu. Natalie Youssef. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Business Accounting, Joel Adam. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Bakalian. Mario Nagi Serur Banup. Edward Thomas Brett. Sutichai Che Noi. Katrina Marie Dock. Erica Elliott. Vanessa Suzanne Grabski. Shubham Gulati. Philip James Guy. Abhishek Narula. Nurul Hidaya Binti Ramli. Jessica Louise Richards. Nathaniel Samuels. Chantelle Splat. Chandi Pirasekera. Elizabeth Tip Ting Wong. For the Bachelor of Business, Accounting and Finance, Bernadette Hui Ming Chieng. Paul De Ruong Huan. Brenda Yu Ye Li. Yong Sheng Lim.
Jia Jie Wong. For the Bachelor of Business Advertising, Matthew James Andrews. For the Bachelor of Business, Business Administration, Stacey Louise Bokeyar. Sky Bulger. Ashley Joy Capicchiano. Lucy Cheffins. Sean Giminelli. Kimberly Dean. Sophie Ann Jackson. Georgia Hannah Leonard. Zoe McKelvey. Monique Matosic. For the Bachelor of Business, Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Nicholas Charles David Parcell. For the Bachelor of Business, International Business, Aidan Thomas Wall. For the Bachelor of Business, Logistics and Supply Chain Management, Darik Hassan Khan Chaudhry. Sarah Ann Conroy. Claire Perino. Evgeny John Proklov. Shane Damien Rogers. Scott Martin Townsend. Nicholas Peter Visaris. For the Bachelor of Business Management, Taylor Marie Bell. <laughs> Fatma Bitir. <laughs> Marie Geraldine Celestin. Logan Michael Cheers. <laughs> Anne Dean Cheatham. <laughs> Anouk Marie Jose Voli de Hunt. Lucy Catherine Jackson. <laughs> Helen India Lee Jolly. <laughs> Ryan Daniel Kelly. Vanessa Christine Kennedy. Applause 
Jessica Kirkbride. Elvin Lee Chun Pin. <laughs> Trisha Lopez. <laughs> Carmen Kathleen Muller. <laughs> Claire Helen Nass. Gavin Norris. Anthony Scott Page. Mitchell Paul Ratton. Ronald Dat Singh. Yeah. Haneke Sher Smith. <laughs> Thomas Thorne. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Business Marketing, David Yin Biengot. <laughs> Heidi Komen. <laughs> Michelle Costello. Bronte Coulson Moore. <laughs> Maria Fenich. <laughs> Jessica Lauren Fitzgerald. <laughs> Cassandra Hancock. Harriet Rose Keating. <laughs> Senya Lai. <laughs> Banayotis Likuras. <laughs> Ashley Lynch Marson. Sarah Mahmoud. <laughs> Kelly Ann Morris. <laughs> Nicole Bolini. <laughs> Oksana Razdiakonova. Katrina Lee Royal. Charlie Michael Summers. Stephen Theodorakis. Kyle James Vivats. For the Bachelor of Business, Public Relations, Bridget Marie Schmidt. <laughs> For the Bachelor of Business, Sports Management, Jared Davis.
Craig DeCarl. For the Bachelor of Business, Tourism Management, Taylor Jane Sharp. For the Bachelor of Business Administration, Aaron Sunny Fletcher. For the Bachelor of Business Information Systems, Muhammad Abu Bakr. Deanne King. Damien Lok Yu Lai. Prince Vuyo Maposa. For the Bachelor of Commerce, Accounting and Finance, Leung Bang Nguy An. For the Bachelor of Information Technology, Nicholas Anderson. Jeannie Dong. Liam Alexander Kurzemnieks. Scott Raymond Sheldrick. Aaron Michael Stevens. George Vlahos. For the Bachelor of Laws, Ash Sahuta. For the Bachelor of Technology, Information Systems, Jason Alexander. Murray James Clifford. Hi, Joseph de Macht. Andrew Mikhailov. Mwamba Ilunga Mwilambwe. Stephanie Pearson. Stephen Bernard Slauter. For the Bachelor of Business, Bachelor of Communication, Brigitte Caroline Gonzalez. Ruby Rose Osinga. Kaylin Campbell Roberts. Ayana Mary Roberts. Akash Sabharwal. For the Bachelor of Business, Bachelor of Social Science, Jade Helena Kloster. For the Bachelor of Business Information Systems, Bachelor of Business, Paulina Filippidis. For the Bachelor of Business Information Systems, Bachelor of Commerce, Vuti Keo.
for the Bachelor of Research, Honours, Ella Kate Scott. For the Graduate Certificate of Business Administration, Sandra Michelle Borella. Kimberly Garra. Linda Kuss. Li Ya Xue. For the Graduate Certificate of Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Jem Merich. For the Graduate Certificate of Professional Accounting, Shani Virginia Anthony. For the Master of Business Administration, Matthew Darcy. Robert James Jackson. Donna Patricia McLeod. Lakmal Sandaruan Matara Kankanamagi. Michelle Louise Murphy. Monica van Weinen. For the Master of Business Administration Executive, Ashley Morgan Alsobrook. Sean Kenneth Braganza. Christopher Blake Cargrig. Sophia Jane Hill. Isaac James Smith. For the Master of Business Administration, International, Krishna Dovan Swardana. For the Master of Business Administration System, uh, Business Information Systems, Timothy Boyd Evans. <laughs> Steven Zbigniew Janchuk. Jason Grieg Jatana. Samarasinha Arachige Supun Prasadini Samarasinha. For the Master of Commerce, Adele Ewing. For the Master of Commerce, Human Resource Management, Ami Rose Forsyth. Janine Marie Messina. For the Master of Commerce, International Business, Emma Rose Rigby. For the Master of Finance and Banking, Professional, Nutaya Sanlekanun. For the Master of Human Resource Management, Shika Punj. For the Master of Information Technology Business Analysis, Afifa Ijaz.
Arsh Kamlesh Shah. For the Master of International Business, Advanced, Sami Ahmed. For the Master of Marketing, Catherine Louise McKenzie. <clears throat> Lasita Yasasini Rajakaruna. <clears throat> Yi Yi Chang. For the Master of Marketing, Professional, Arsalan Khan. <clears throat> Aprilia Kurniasari. <clears throat> For the Master of Practicing Accounting, Sanjay Subhas Hegde. Di Tu Hien Zhan. For the Master of Professional Accounting, Pragi Dixit. Kewal Piyush Kumar Raitata. Ravinda Singh Jima. <clears throat> For the Master of Project Management, Professional, Zheng Fu Song Nui En. <clears throat> For the Master of Strategic Foresight, Meredith Bowden. Ruth Melanie Lewis. <clears throat> For the Master of Teaching, Primary, Helen Fagnani. <clears throat> For the Advanced Diploma of Engineering Technology, Robotics and Mechatronics, Saxon Jefferson Riley Hansen. That concludes the awards for the Faculty of Business and Law. I now call upon Professor Linda Christensen AO, Vice Chancellor and President of Swinburne University of Technology to present the University Medal Award. The University Medal is a prestigious award recognizing the most outstanding students across all higher education levels at Swinburne University of Technology. Counselor, I have the honor to present to you the graduate awarded the University Medal for 2018. Counselor, for the most outstanding undergraduate student in the Faculty of Business and Law, Montana Doreen Peruccio. Montana graduated with a double degree, Bachelor of Laws and Bachelor of Business. <laughs> Counselor, that concludes the presentation of the Undergraduate University Medal for 2018. I now call upon Professor Bernadine Van Gramberg, Pro Vice Chancellor, Graduate Research and Research Training, to present the graduates from Swinburne Research. Counselor. Graduates of higher degrees by research at Swinburne must demonstrate that their work meets the most rigorous standards. 
The outcome of their scholarship and research is examined by international experts to ensure that it makes a significant and original contribution to their field at international standards. Many of our doctoral graduates have presented their work at international conferences and published in international refereed journals. During their candidature, they have already been contributing to Swinburne's growing international research reputation. So as we congratulate them on receiving their award, we ask that they join the university staff on the stage. While these achievements are indeed remarkable and worthy of celebration, it is worth taking a moment to reflect on what it really means to make an original contribution to knowledge. To succeed in research, you need to have the courage to go into the unknown. Every thesis is a journey of risk-taking and it results in mistakes and failures and successes in equal measure and without which progress is simply not possible. Our graduates leave Swinburne as world experts in their chosen field, but armed with finely honed skills to be curious, to take risks, to disrupt convention and to forge new paths. And they also have the right expertise to make a real impact on our world. Swinburne is immensely proud that our research degree graduates will continue to make significant contributions to the advancement of knowledge, to solving the challenges confronting our world and to enriching communities wherever they live and work. Today, we salute the courageous and wish you well as you continue your adventure into the unknown. Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you the graduates on whom an award has been conferred. For full citation, the, uh, thesis citations, please refer to your graduation ceremony handbook. Councillor, I present to you Dr. Michelle Lack for the Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Lack's thesis title is Exploring Mobile Learning Implementation in an Industry Context from a Community of Practice Perspective. <laughs> Councillor, I present to you Dr. Catherine Mary Raw for the Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Raw's thesis title is Sport for Social Cohesion, Exploring Management and Impact. <laughs> Councillor, I present to you Dr. Daniel Rain for the Doctor of Philosophy. <laughs> Dr. Rain's thesis title is from awareness to action, exploring the impact of social alliances on consumer behaviour in the sporting context. <laughs> Councillor, that concludes the awards for Swinburne Research. I now call upon Christopher Blake Cargreg, who graduated today with a Master of Business Administration Executive, to speak on behalf of the graduates. Well, Councillor, Vice, Vice Chancellor, Swinburne staff, fellow graduates and guests, Today we celebrate a significant accomplishment for each student in this room. Although many times it was a struggle with the late nights, the early mornings, the restless sleep, the tight deadlines, we can now look back on it all favourably and with pride. What a magnificent achievement. On behalf of graduating students, I would like to sincerely thank everyone who has supported us on our way. We can vouch for Swinburne's inclusive and warm culture, the standard of teaching and the support of collaboration um, between teacher and student was invaluable. 
The staff of Swinburne deserve our gratitude for all of their patience, time, more patience, and effort into encouraging and motivating us to achieve our best. Every student here has been touched by people with a passion for what they do. We truly thank you. Let us thank each and every student in the room and the others that came with us on our journey. We are truly honoured to have been supported by such wonderfully motivated and intelligent people. There are connections and friendships that will endure for years to come. Without those important friends that we have made, this journey would have been made much harder. We have all grown as people. This would not have been possible without our friends, family and loved ones. Whether it be their support, encouragement, financial assistance or even just keeping us caffeinated, we feel honoured to celebrate our big day with you all. See, good people do good things for other people. A Greek proverb says that a society grows great when people plant trees the shade of which they'll never sit in. It's this selflessness that we must use to make our world a better place. Now we look to the future with renewed confidence, motivation and pride. No one can ever take this away from us. Looking back many years from now, it'll be remembered as one of the happiest and proudest periods of our lives. So to my fellow students, congratulations and good luck for the future. Thank you, Christopher. And to all Swinburne graduates, I know that today is the culmination of years of hard work and that during this time, as Christopher has mentioned, you have had the encouragement and help of family and friends. And on yours and the university's behalf, I wish to thank them for their support of your studies at Swinburne and for being here to see you graduate today. Graduates, can you please stand, turn, face your family and friends and join me in a round of applause to say thank you for all those that have helped you reach this important milestone. <laughs> Graduates, please resume your seats. Graduates, I hope that you will consider that together with your graduation, this is a step along the path of a lifelong association with Swinburne. Education is a continuing process and I invite you to Swinburne in the future to further your studies. I encourage you to stay connected through Swinburne alumni in the future. At graduation, you automatically become lifelong members of Swinburne alumni which is a worldwide network of more than 180,000 graduates. This network gives you access to a valuable community who share your connection to Swinburne, which is a powerful tool for building and developing your careers and for seizing lifelong opportunities. As well as events in Australia, Swinburne alumni has a growing number of networks in many other parts of the world. So even if you are leaving Melbourne, you can always stay connected to Swinburne and take advantage of what it means to be a Swinburne graduate. Graduates, on your behalf, I would also wish to take this opportunity to thank the academic and professional staff for their contribution to your education at Swinburne. Would all staff please rise? And graduates, please join me in a round of applause for all the Swinburne staff. Thank you. I now call upon Professor Linda Christensen, AO, Vice-Chancellor and President of Swinburne University of Technology to deliver the charge to the graduates. Before I read the charge to the graduates on behalf of Swinburne University, I would like to congratulate you on your achievements that we are honoring today. You graduate today with a deep understanding of your disciplines and an appreciation of the expectations of your chosen professions. 
You also graduate from Swinburne having gained distinctive graduate attributes that will help you in your future careers. You have become more reflective communicators, better problem solvers, and gained proficiency working effectively in teams. And I trust that you have experienced and reflected upon the values that we espouse, a university that is inclusive, environmentally conscious, and committed to respectful, ethical conduct. Because we are a university actively engaged with industry and our professional bodies, we know that you graduate, graduate well prepared for careers of the future. You are also our future leaders, visionaries, challengers, and trailblazers. One of the greatest benefits of achieving a qualification from Swinburne is the opportunity to meet and study with people from different cultures and different countries. Friendships developed can be lifelong and mutually beneficial. As our future leaders, the relationships you foster will help build a prosperous global community. I look forward to your ongoing engagement with us, and I wish you the very best for the future. May I please now ask the graduates to stand for the charge. In conferral of your award, I ask you as graduates of Swinburne University of Technology to strive to practice the university's values of integrity, accountability, teamwork, innovation, sustainability, and respect for diversity. I ask you to seek positive and creative ways to engage with and serve your communities. I ask you to remain curious and open to new learning and new experiences. And finally, use your knowledge, talents, skills, and passion to encourage a better future for the global community. Please be seated. Congratulations again and be well. This concludes the official part of this Swinburne graduation ceremony.